Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. It's another Los Angeles day here. A little bit overcast. The temperature is 74 degrees. The sky is clearing though. We expect blue skies and uh, the warmth to come very shortly. We're just outside the San Pedro Gateway Arch. This is the official entrance to the city of San Pedro, California, just south of the Los Angeles area in Los Angeles County. San Pedro is technically connected with Los Angeles City, uh, even though Los Angeles City is within the county area. This gateway arch here that was built originally in the 1960s has been redone a number of times and we're looking at the latest version of it with the San Pedro written in lettering across the front and that uh, actually lights up is, at night as well. So we can see here this is Gaffey Street in San Pedro and if you're familiar with the area this is at the terminus of the 110 Harbor Freeway as well as the 47, which is the Vincent Thomas Bridge, which leads right into the harbor area here in San Pedro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Welcome Park. Welcome Park was dedicated in 2017 to welcome visitors here into San Pedro. And it may not be what most people think of a park, it's more of an area. So it's coming up here on the right. So this area here is Welcome Park. Years ago, this actually used to be, I believe, a gas station. And Los Angeles City purchased the property and developed it into this Welcome Park area. So it may not get a lot of visitors here, but we're visiting today. San Pedro Welcome Park. Welcome Park is the inspiration of Jim Hussey. In recognition of his dedication to the people of San Pedro, this park commemorates his vision September 2007. So this is just right alongside, right alongside the main entrance to the city of San Pedro. Even though you can get to San Pedro in a couple different arteries on the roads, this Gaffey Street here really is truly the main entrance. So we can see off in the distance some of the other neighborhoods in the older part of San Pedro here, in the distance way up there on the hill, that's the Palos Verdes Peninsula off in the distance. So this is Welcome Park. Up there is the Gateway Arch. So that's basically a pedestrian bridge that connects one side of Gaffey Street to the other. putting a crosswalk here at the intersection of two freeways and the major thoroughfare would have really slowed traffic down so they did this, this arch. The occasional loud car coming by. Well, let's take a look at walking over. Walking over the pedestrian walkway arch. Almost 
like going through a tunnel here. So we get a view of the vehicles leaving the city and then on the other side get a good view of vehicles coming in from the freeway. So the incline for this pedestrian overpass isn't super steep, it is a little steep. They're kind of limited as to how much room they had to make these inclines here. So on this side of Gaffey Street, which would be the west side of Gaffey, with Gaffey Street going north and south. We were just on the east side, across the street there. So that was Welcome Park. So on, on the east side here, where we're at now, the city of Los Angeles, so as opposed to San Pedro on that side made that park, the city of Los Angeles decided to create something on this side as well to welcome people into the city of Los Angeles as they left San Pedro. So here, this was dedicated in 2017. This is about an acre and a half. It is called Los Angeles Sister Cities Plaza. So it's right here on Gaffey, the street off in the distance, the cross street is O'Farrell. And each of these flags represents a sister city of the city of Los Angeles. So Los Angeles has 25 sister cities around the world in many, many different countries. New Zealand, Lebanon, Germany, France, South Korea, you know, Egypt, Zambia, the Philippines, Mexico, uh, just you know, Canada, of course, Armenia, there's Brazil. So they have many, many different sister cities. We also have uh, the United States flag and the California flag, of course. And then next to the California flag is the city of Los Angeles flag. So all these other flags represent the sister cities around the world. When it was dedicated, there was a ceremony with the residents and with dignitaries, not just of Los Angeles and, and uh, San Pedro and California. There were also uh, dignitaries from many of the countries that are represented here by the flags. So many of the sister cities had representatives here. In the center here, this is a uh, kids play area. So the ground here is uh, padded so the kids can come and you can have a seat here. Even though it looks like they have trash can receptacles, but the trash cans themselves are missing for some reason. So this was originally called Exit Park when it was first conceived and then it morphed and developed into this Sister Cities Plaza, which is nice. So even if it doesn't get a lot of foot traffic, a lot of visitors walking through, it is, it is a sight to see as people leave the city. In fact, you have to really look for the sign here. 
Los Angeles Sister Cities Plaza welcomes you. We make LA a better place. All the plantings here are drought tolerant in one way or another, uh, except for uh, the grass. And so you can kind of see how the grass is just growing out with crab grass and dandelions. But the succulents, the other trees that are in the area are all drought tolerant, which is a good idea here, especially in Southern California to plant that way. Well, that was our quick trip right along Gaffey Street, right at the end of the 110 and 47 freeways to take a look at the San Pedro Arch, Welcome Park, and then Los Angeles Sister Cities Park. Thanks for coming along. And be sure, be sure to hit that like button, hit that thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it and hit that subscribe. You'll be notified the next time we have another adventure, especially a live adventure. You can check us out while we're live. Thanks so much. Thumbs up, hit that like, and hit that subscribe. Have a great day.